question two then from the 2015 advanced higher maths, the differentiation question, six marks. Easier six marks than the four marks for question one. First one, you've got this rational expression for y and you have to differentiate it and give your answer as a single simplified fraction. Well, that's obviously going to be the quotient rule. There's no point separating that into 5x plus 1 times x squared plus 2 to the negative 1 and then using the product rule and getting two fractions which will then have to be combined together. No, it's much simpler just using the quotient rule. So, what have we got? Quotient rule. So, I've got this quotient. Square the denominator. And in fact, as soon as you do that, as soon as you draw that line with that squared underneath, that's the first mark. Knowing to use the quotient rule and getting the correct denominator. The next mark is for getting the correct numerator. Well, that's just in the order of this one first. So differentiate the top, that's just a 5. Times leave the other one alone, x squared plus 2. Minus, because it was a negative power. Now leave that one alone, 5x plus 1. And this one gets its turn. Differentiate this, 2x. And if you do that, that's the second mark. And then the last mark's just for tidying that up. So it's going to be all over, and of course maybe something cancels. It depends on the nature of this quadratic on top. You've got 5x squared taking me 10x squared, so that's a minus 5x squared. Don't like that be negative. The only x term comes from here, minus 2x. And the only number part comes from here, plus 10. And that doesn't factorise. So that's it done. That's your final mark. In part b, given f of x equals this, this product here, with functions of functions in it, obtain f dash dx again for three marks. Well, this time it's quite clearly a product, so in obtaining f dash dx, it will be the product rule, and the first mark is for using the product rule, evidence of using it. So we differentiate this. Now, the handy thing about the exponential function is it just stays as itself, but since it's operating in 2x, I have to multiply by 2 and then leave the second one alone. Plus, now leave that one alone, e to the 2x. Then you have to watch this because it's actually a function of a function of a function. Because sine squared 3x really means sine acting on 3x, and then acting on all of that is a square. So it's like work your way down through the layers of an onion. Get rid of the square, or rather deal with the square, then deal with the sine, then deal with the final core, the 3x. So the outer function first will be 2 times that thing, sine 3x, just to the power 1, well that's fine. So that's the outer one dealt with. Now the next one, multiply by, now differentiate this, that will be cos 3x, that's that dealt with. And finally, times 3. So that's the first mark for using the product rule, or knowing to use it, and then the second mark for getting both of these parts. So there's two marks here. Now the third mark's for tidying it all up. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing that, depending on how you interpret these things. You could, you could either say, I'll go for common factors first, in which case you could pull out a sine 3x with that sine 3x. Or you might say, well look, at that 2 sine 3x cos 3x that's the double angle formula for sine 6x. So you've got two roots. If you were to go for the root of, let's just pull out all the common factors, you'd look through and say, I've got a 2, I've got an e to the 2x, I've got a sine 3x, and then I'll see what I've got left that I've not used yet. So I've not used sine 3x here, and from this bit I've not used the 3, and I've not used the cos 3x. So that would do. Or, I could interpret this part here as the sine of 6x. And then again, look for my common factors, but now I've lost my 2s because I've got a 2 here and a 3 there. So the only common factor I've got is this e to the 2x. And that would come out leaving me with the 2 sine squared 3x and the 3 times sine 6x. And that would be the third mark using that root. Maybe prefer that one. Seems a bit simpler because it's got less ink in it.